At the very beginning of the church, the leaders were at prayer in Antioch, prayer and fasting. And the Holy Spirit guided them to choose Paul and Barnabas to do mission work. So Paul was a newly converted Christian. He was transformed from persecuting Christians to preaching to gain more believers. So Paul begins with Barnabas to go to Cyprus and then the Asia Minor. And what Paul did was put aside his previous understandings of God and God's will. And the Holy Spirit was guiding him to do something that probably he never thought he would do, to travel thousands and thousands of miles, to be persecuted, to be threatened with death. But he continued three great missionary journeys Every year in January, there is a week of prayer for Christian unity. And the last day is the conversion of St. Paul. So during that week, there's a prayer that all Christians focus on what unites us rather than what divides us. This last January, Pope Francis joined together with leaders from other Christian churches for Vespers. And he said, if God is our treasure, our plan of action must consist in doing God's will, fulfilling God's desires, not our own. And he pointed out that our journey toward Christian unity must follow the same route as St. Paul, turning away from our own ideas and giving God the space to take initiative to convert our hearts. He said the path before us is to serve together and to put prayer as a priority. For when Christians grow in the service of God and neighbor, we grow together in understanding. The Holy Father concluded by saying that the priority is prayer. He said it's a great responsibility to be in communion with God, who prayed to his Heavenly Father for unity. And we hear that at the Last Supper when Jesus prayed that all may be one. Pope Francis then says, that we must pray for peace, all Christians praying for peace in the Holy Land and Ukraine and all the places of the world where there is conflict. So we hear Jesus say today, whoever is not against us is for us. Pope Francis says, let us get up in the name of Christ from our routine and set out anew, for he wills that the world may believe. The unity of Christians in prayer and service is a witness to Jesus Christ. So we are challenged each and every day to do what we can to cooperate together in the way of service, in the way of the corporal and spiritual works of mercy, and to pray together that we may be one as the Lord Jesus prayed for us at the Last Supper.